this is Jamie Magrich. Welcome to Jamie's Craft Table. Today I'm going to show you how I made this card. Let's get started. I'm using Stampin' Up Magical Meadow. I'm using this stamp here. And the coordinating dies. And then I'm bringing in this Hello from Layering Leaves. <clears throat> For consumables, I have a scrap of gold foil paper. I previously, just for the sake of time, cut out um, all the little berries, these ones. Okay, I have a scrap of white. I have a couple of um, layering labels. I can't tell you where they're from. They're just from my dies. I have a piece of white, which is three inches by four inches, a piece of blue, which is three and a quarter by four and a quarter. I think this is blueberry bushel, but I can't even be sure. Um, a piece of white, which is three and three quarters by five, and then a piece of white, which is three and seven eighths by five and one eighths to layer underneath that, and then the card front which is four and a quarter by five and a half and my card base, which is five and a half by eight and a half folded at four and a quarter. Okay. So let's do our stamping first. This piece stamped on this is the, okay. I'm just trying to get myself organized because Yeah, I need all three of those. Okay, so I'm going to stamp on this one here, the largest. This is the one that is uh, three and three quarters by five inches with Knight of Navy. And I'm going to uh, make sure I stamp all the way around the edges. I want to do some full strength and then some second generation. Okay, so that's what that's going to look like. Okay, then I'm going to wipe this off. I'm just going to use a rag because we're using a blue on blue, but I want to get the majority of the dark ink off of it. Just stamp it off a little bit. And then I'm going to come in with Starry Sky ink. I'm going to set this piece aside. We're going to bring in this layer. This is the three by four inch layer. I think it did, I cleaned it off just a tiny bit too early. Go ahead and ink this again. The Knight of Navy. I'm going to do the same thing. We're going to stamp. Then I'm going to turn it and without re-inking, I'm going to stamp it again. Okay, so I get that image. Now I'm going to clean it off. And I'm just cleaning it with a rag. Most of the ink is off of it. And we're stamping in another dark blue, but I don't want to put Night of Navy in my starry sky. Okay, now we're gonna bring in that scrap piece. And I'm using Starry Sky because I wanted a little bit of a brighter color. I could probably use Blueberry Bushel too. I'm going to stamp that. Okay. 
Okay. And I'm going to bring in my die cutting machine for one of them. layers and the die that matches that come on some posted note because well, this has a tendency to move in the machine okay die away so I don't lose it. Okay. Now I have one more thing to stamp. I didn't get it lined up perfectly, but that's all right. I need to stamp the sentiment, but I'm going to emboss that. So I'm going to use Versamark ink. Get out my embossing powder. I knew I was forgetting something. I'll just tap that with the embossing buddy. So, okay, go ahead and stamp this a little bit more. I'll move it up a little bit more towards this right side here. Got it down a little too low, but I think it'll be all right. And some gold embossing powder. Just gonna dip it in the embossing powder a second time just to make sure I've got a really good layer. Put that away so I don't blow it all over the place. work from over here. It's too far away. It's barely in the picture. The cord's not long enough. I haven't heat embossed in a video since I uh, moved my table.
Okay. Now I'm going to, we can assemble the card, I believe. We've got all of our pieces ready. Okay, so let's go ahead and mount this layer that we just embossed to this one. Sorry, I can't tell you which uh, dies it is because it's just some from my stash. I'm trying to use what I have. My husband is getting ready to retire. And so I'm trying to learn to not spend the money and use what I have. Dimensionals on the back of this. Okay, and there's one thing I need to do I forgot to do. Let's bring in this piece. See here, these two are connected. I need to bring in a pair of snips. No, I'm just going to bring in the ones I can refine. And I'm going to trim in there. So that that's loose so that I can tuck this in here okay so I'm using one of some of those dimensionals to help hold it okay I'm gonna bring this piece in and I'm going to add some more dimensionals to this piece Probably put one here. Take those backs off. And I'm going to kind of line this up on here where I want it. I think I need to just this label a little bit that's straight okay and I'm gonna mount this to this piece Okay, then I'm going to bring these in. I'm going to bring in my take your pick tool. And I'm going to take this piece off so I can use that separately. And I'm just going to put a few gold dots on a few of these berries. So I'm going to just put a few glue dots. I'm going to pick up the little gold berries, put it on the glue, use the other end to hold it in place. Sorry, I'm concentrating. <laughs> there you go. And there's those. Okay. Just send back in. All right. Now this is going to get dimensionals on the back of it. Back 
like so. Bring in this piece here. This will get centered on it. Okay, then this will get adhered to this other layer of white. This layer is just a eighth of an inch larger. Just to finish that a little bit. And then this will get added to this four and a quarter by five and a half inch piece. Center it up, and this will get added to the front of our card. Should be the same size as the front of the card. There you go, there's the card we just made together. Here's the one I did previously. Well, thank you so much for joining me today at Jamie's Craft Table. I hope you have a great rest of your day. And I hope you can find a little bit of time to play with some stamps, ink, and paper.